Hi, this is Carlos. My Instagram is also u underscore s underscore scaper. I keep a variety of fish, from tetras to bikers, arowana, and I'm really into plants as well. If you're new here and you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Today we're going to be unboxing some plants that I ordered from um, someone from Reddit. Now I ordered some very cool plants that I've never been able to keep alive before. <laughs> so, I mean, let's hope it works out this time. And um, he sent it in through FedEx. Should have taken two or three days. FedEx misplaced the whole package. It took about uh, five or six days. I hope the plants are okay because over here in New York, the weather has been as low as the 30s. Uh, as of last week, so so I don't know if you can kind of see through the bag right there. Obviously, some type of cryptocorn, and right here I don't know if you can see through there. Probably not, but this is Aereo colon something like that. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it yet, but Aereo colon I believe it was just something that started with the C. Aerial colon scenarium. Cool. So let's open this up first. These are more like rare type of plants that I'm starting to get into. Hopefully we can succeed with these. Wow, look at that. Very cool. Look at that, you guys. Nice spiky little bushy plant. So one of the tricks I did see for replanting these was to cut some of the roots. Cut down some of the roots, and then that'll help the plant start up again. I see little balls, it looks like um, contra soil, some type of aqua soil. Uh, here's the plant. It looks like it still has most of its leaves. Very firm leaves. Okay, nice. So we have that one. Next, we're gonna check on these cryptocorns. I've tried to grow these in the past with some tissue cultures. They grew about two, three inches tall and then got absolutely destroyed by blackbeard algae. But then again, I just had that in my 135 gallon with the bikers. I don't really dose nutrients in there or um, do a whole lot of maintenance for that tank. It's not really optimized for plants, especially more difficult ones. Well, the plant looks very healthy still. Um, some of these will probably melt back. Look at that. Wow, how do I get this to focus? Yeah, screw this. Let's get, let's get a closer look. There we go. Okay, so this is one of the that I got. Uh, I believe he grew these from a tissue culture as well, but his look very, very good compared to how mine were looking. Here's the third one. Very nice. Cool. Well, I'm surprised they still look this, this good after being in such cold weather for that time that they were. So what we're going to be doing with this is adding this to my nine gallon. So what I like to do first is plug in the CO2, let it run for a little bit, and then turn on the lights. I'll explain that in another video why I do that. But it's basically just to optimize the the use of the CO2 by the plants. We'll just uh, give it a quick rinse and some of this aquarium water. I'll do a little water change, and we'll place these in.